Hi, Assalamualaikum. Good morning, good day, everyone. My name is Muhammad Sharifuddin bin Shafri, and with my uh, with me today is my friend Omar Akmal bin Zulkifli, and we are going to do a presentation to propose to the company of a new way of manufacturing nut washes that is through powder metallurgy. Okay, so I, I will start uh, with a uh, table of content of our proposal, which is uh, start by introduction, material selection, confection, designation of the tool mode, uh, finishing the secondary operation, and the lastly is about the benefits. So for introduction, um, as we all might know, uh, standard nut washers are uh, manufactured using blanking and stamping processes. And the standard material that is used for nut washers to manufacture nut washers usually varies from low to medium carbon steel. And this will cause the yield strength to range in between 400 to 1062 megapascal and tensile strength 415 to 1035 megapascal and Rockwell hardness B70 to C39. This is the characteristics of the um, washers that we would like to also achieve even if we change the manufacturing process to powder metallurgy. So for the material selection, so we can select from the um, range various of steel, carbon steel, spring steel, and even non-ferrous metal, including copper, to manufacture the washers, uh, depending on the usage and the uh, application of the washers. And the powder is going to be manufactured using automi atomization, specifically water atomization or centrifug centrifugal atomization. And we can also use chemical reduction process to produce iron powder, um, such as from the uh, carbonyl reduction process. And then we would prefer to have spherical shaped powder, which uh, will have a better flow characteristic and will allow for better density compaction. And then blending different size of particles um, will also uh, be suggested to be considered to improve density and reduce the porosity of the final product. And mixing various metal will also improve the mechanical property. And powder should also be mixed with lubricant to improve flow characteristic and reduce friction. So next for the compaction and forming process or, or the forming process, we would suggest to use um, a simple pressing method where powder will be filled into dye and pressed by punches. And we would suggest for a double acting press setup, which uh, have upper and lower punches to provide better green compact. And um, the washer will have a more uniform density. And the pressure will be depending on the material selected. It will uh, be up to 800 megapascal. So this is uh, how the tool, how the mold will look like, where we will have upper punch, dye, lower punch, and the core rod. And on the upper right corner, we can see the powder metallurgy made washer uh, green compact. So next, I will pass to my friend, Umaru Akma. Uh, thank you, uh, Sarifune. So I'm going to with uh, the sintering part, uh, which uh, sintering part is the form of heat treatment, which purposely to provide sufficient strength and allow the metal powders to bond together into desired shape. So uh, in this uh, stage, uh, in this uh, process, there are three stages involved, which are, which are preheating, sintering at high temperature, and also cooling. So next. So I'm gonna, uh, this is the three stages that I, men I mentioned before. So uh, the first one is preheating, which uh, can be uh, distributed to slow and rapid heating. Uh, slow heating is gradu uh, about the temperature gradually raised to ensure all, all volatile substance, substances is eliminated. And the rapid heating is about the produce high pressure uh, to uh, aim to fracture the compact. So uh, the second stage is about the high temperature stage, which are solid stage, which are solid stage deficient and also the liquid grains. It's about deficient based bonding between two near, nearby particles, uh, solid state bonding start to take place. And the liquid phase sintering is about the uh, vapor phase tra transports. Uh, and the third one is cooling. Uh, the centering part is then cooled down uh, before undergo the finishing process. Okay, next. Uh, okay, this is a uh, secondary operation. Uh, there are many types of uh, secondary operation. Uh, depending on the on the requirement, 
So uh, the first one that we detect about the debris, debris is the mechanical operation, which are uh, uh, which are used to smooth smoothen the rough edges of the nut wall shape, which have been resulted from the convection. And uh, the second one is steam steam treatment, uh, to enhance the strength and the corrosion resistance. And the third one is about the heat heat treatment. So both steam and heat treatment uh is purposely to improve hardening and uh is purposely to enhance the strength and the heat treatment uh, improve adenine and temporary process units. Uh, the benefits of using uh, powder metallurgy roots, uh, there are four, which are good dimensional control, certain material selection, increased strength and toughness, and also uh, in order to reduce material waste. Okay, next. So I think uh, that's all from us. Uh, thank you very much.